President Joe Biden says that he wants to unite the country in the fight against COVID-19 following three cases of the Omicron variant identified in the U.S. The president unveiled his plan to head off a winter COVID surge today. It includes booster shots for all adults, which means more appointments and clinics, vaccinations to protect children and keep schools open. International travelers coming into the states must be tested within one day of leaving, regardless of vaccination status. Expanding free at home testing and the transportation mask mandate is being extended through March 18th. Joining me now to talk about the new plan is NBC News medical contributor Dr. Nahid Bedelia. With today's announcement, do you think that this is intended to actually prevent the Omicron variant here in the U.S., uh, the spread of it, or to stem the anticipated seasonal surge? Well, Jennifer, I think the plan's been out likely to close. What we were seeing, seeing even before Omicron came on the scene was Delta was increasing case surges in many parts of the world. And that's before the holiday travels were really, you know, we're not even seeing the impact of Thanksgiving travel and winter is ahead of us. But if the Omicron you know, variant turns out to be more transmissible and we're concerned potentially that there might be an impact on vaccine efficacy, then getting those boosters, getting those tests, getting those additional um, app appointments as well as other layers of mitigations are going to be important as well. We're also talking about expanding free at home testing and updating the travel guidance. What other actions do you see or not see having an impact on case numbers this winter? What I love about this plan is that it is taking a, a layered you know, approach to mitigation and vaccines are important, but we also know that by increasing that testing, by catching people when they might be infectious so they can change their behavior is gonna be important, as well as getting people treatment early. What I think would have been great is that we've seen Omicron cases now in multiple states now, and so potentially having travel guidance for domestic travel, including vaccine requirements or testing requirements, might help us stem that that spread a little further as well. All right, Dr. Bedelia, thank you so much for your time and your information. We appreciate you.